welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Mika. Thank you so much for stopping in. Heart to heart, I am rich. I literally am rich. And I didn't even know this. I had to pay attention to the things that I actually do have. And I found out I am way richer than I've ever been in my life. Let me tell you why. I have been complaining about bills. I've been complaining that I haven't had extra money to just go out and splurge and shop because your girl likes to shop. But then God tapped me on my shoulder and he was like, girl, you are rich. What are you asking for more for? I'm going to tell you how I'm rich. He started laying it out to me. I got breath in my body. I am healthy, even though your girl don't be eating healthy now. But clean bill of health across the board. I'm strong. Everything works as it should. I have love all around me. My daughter, my friends, the friends that are actually meant to be in my life are in my life. I prayed and asked God to remove people who were not meant for me in my life a couple years ago and they took some time, some sifting. He removed the people who were not about the right. He removed the people who were not there for me, who were not meant to go into my future and to where I am right now. And I'm rich in that. I'm rich in knowing that I have a father in heaven, God. I also have a brother, Jesus. That's my family. And there's no greater love. There's nothing more in this world that I could ever have that could replace the two of them. And then when I think about just in general, the things that I complain about are minute. I shouldn't even be complaining about it because my rent is super high. I have responsibility outside of myself, which is taking care of my daughter. I have so many things that are coming at me all at one time, but yet I stay afloat. Yet I still come off of my head held high. Yet all my bills are always paid. Yet I always still have money in my bank account. And sometimes I think we forget about looking at those type of things. We just look at what everybody else has. This person is able to go on all these trips because they have all this money. This person gets to live lavishly. This person is bragging about how much money they're making, but do they have Jesus? Do they have God? And some of them do. But most of the people in this world today, because we're chasing the wrong things, we're chasing the bag, we're chasing people's admiration, we're chasing people's envy, we're chasing after all these things that don't benefit us in the end anyway. But we want that because in the flesh and here on earth, it makes us feel successful. You're not successful if you don't have 10 zeros in your bank account after the main number. Like... It's ridiculous, but what does it mean? That's something that can be taken from us. They're already saying that the dollar bill is not going to hold the same weight that it used to hold. So at the end of the day, you're bragging about things that somebody else can change just like that. They can take that from you. They can change its value. They can make it harder for you to get. They can make it easy, but easy for you to, to lose. Like, there's so many strings attached to money to material things in this world. But when you have the love of God, you have the love of Jesus, ain't no strings attached. And no matter what, they're always gonna make sure that you have everything that you need, everything. I can honestly, genuinely say that even in my hardest times when I felt like in the flesh that I was struggling to make it in life and I was struggling because I had all these ideas on the things that I wanted to do when I just wanted more money, when I wanted to be able to live lavishly, but it wasn't happening. During the times when I felt like it's so unfair that I don't have this and I don't have that, but I have my mental health. God always made sure that I was safe. He's kept me out of the hospital. He's kept me out of bad relationships. He's protected me from people who wanted to do me harm. He's blessed me with a roof over my head. I always have food in the refrigerator. My daughter has been well taken care of, spoiled in a lot of cases. That's not me. That's God. That's Jesus. That's them living in my life. And because I try to be faithful, I try to have a relationship with them. I say try because I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit here and make, be like, oh, I'm holier than thou. Everything's perfect. I do everything by the, the Bible. That's not true. There's still things that I need to work on. And I'm always going to be working on. But I'm saying that I, I make that effort. And because of that, I'm rewarded with their blessings of everything that I need. Not only do they give me everything that I need, I have the things that I desire. Y'all see what I'm saying? 
So the next time that you complain about I'm poor, stop saying that. Stop speaking that over your life. You're not poor. You don't have the money to do the things that you think you want to do, but you're not poor. As long as you're up and you're walking around, you're healthy, you have family, you have kids, you have a husband, you have a wife, you have whatever is going on in your life, even if you don't have nothing external, but you have you. You have your mental health. You're not in anybody's hospital bed. You have a job. You may not like that job. You may not love that job, but you have a job. There's a lot of people out here who don't have a job, who would love to just go to a job that they don't like just to get some money in their pocket. But you have it. You're fed. You may not eat everything you want. You may not have steak and lobster every night, but you're eating. And God makes sure that you have that. Be thankful for the things that you have and call yourself rich. Call yourself rich because you are. When you're rich in the spirit, when you're rich in life and you are able to see life, you're able to do life, you're not dependent on anybody else, you're not in the jail cell, you're good. You have a phone right now, you have a TV, that's why you're able to watch this video, you're blessed. You don't have to have everything 100 for you to be thankful. Not your blessings. Ask the money that you're praying for. The things that you're wanting, remember that it's in you already. You've been blessed. I'm rich, and I'm going to claim that. You can look at me and be like, girl, you dropped a Hyundai Sonata. You are poor, and I, could, I drive an Escalade, I drive a whatever. You can compare yourself to me all you want to, but you'll never be able to, to feel the fullness that I have in my life because I know what God has done for me. I know what Jesus has show me i know how both of them have been nothing but a blessing to me i know how there was times where i didn't even know how i was going to eat but blessings came whether it was family giving me money or friends bringing me food and i never had to speak a word now you tell me would you rather be the one to have to go out here and work hard to get everything that you have would you rather be that person that has to hustle all the time? Or would you rather have the love of God and Jesus all over you where they make sure that no matter what, you always are going to have it? Think about that. And stop calling yourself poor because you're rich. You need to claim it. Everything in your life, head into that bank. The more thankful and grateful that you are, you're going to fill up more in that bank. God gives you more of what you're grateful for. Just like you get more of what you're ungrateful for too you tap into what God has for you, when you hold hands with God and with Jesus, you'll realize just how rich you truly are. But you let me know what you think. Drop your comments in the comment box below, or you can send me an email. We can discuss more there about this topic or a new topic. You can give me some topic ideas. As long as I feel like I have the space to talk about it, I will do so for you. Or you can leave a testimony that you can just share with me. Or if you'd like for me to share it for you with our YouTube family, I will do so. Just let me know in the email. Until next time, y'all be blessed. We'll keep the conversation going and we will talk next time. Bye.